Hello everyone, my name is Yogesh and in today's lecture I will explain you how you can set the page size and do the formatting using C Sharp for post receipts. Now uh, basically today's lecture will be very short because it's not having that much content but let me tell you, uh, let me explain you what does that, that mean. Like suppose you see this receipt. Now everything goes ok in this receipt till the time this item description doesn't encounter and it you can say change the location of this quantity and after that we have the, this big description so which totally you can say destroy the formatting what we need so uh, if you are going for like bold and other formatting you should refer my other lecture instead of that because in that I have contained all the basics of post but here it's just more about like how you can format the uh, like you can say item on their page because that destroy uh, there is no concept of like page size because automatically your printer come with like whether it's 450 mm 80 mm or 30 mm that the size is the main thing is like how you will sport your big item names within that size okay now first you need to make sure like how many character this uh, description can hold like suppose for me it's like 22 character here so what I need to do is after every 22 character I need to put a break and put the name of that uh, item into the next line so it's very simple logic I will show you how it can be done and then I will show you like how you can print without temp file for this thing you need to like I am expecting like you have already seen my previous lecture because in that I have used temp file to print but you can achieve the same without using the temp file okay so let me just show you the code I'm oh, sorry not this one okay so here I have created two methods this is uh, get string split and this is like item formatter okay so just uh, you can like put the uh, your email ID in con uh, comment and I will uh, share you the code so it is very easy so you just uh, not need to like worry about what these uh, this method are doing you need to just use this method what it has to do like you have to pass item name add the quantity and then floating price amount and the length now length is your page length I told you like in my case it's 22 character I cannot exceed more than 22 so how I will do is I need to put the break so now here you see my item name is very big uh, it is like my name is very big it cannot be adjusted in one single line adjust me if you can so this is like a big item name so what I need to do is I need to split into a series of 22 characters line okay so let me just show you how it works second okay wait a second I think I just copied one method extra yeah just delete and I will just run it again so here you can see the item description size is 22 and item name is it's a big quite long name so now I need to adjust now I am just calling this method so it is the logic like uh, uh, whatever the like number of string it will come it will like uh, split them those accordingly okay so now if I press F10 so if I go into my output string and see the output so here you can see it has automatically formatted the output okay so like 22 length it is counting and putting the remaining text into the next line so this is how you can format data into a post receipt there is no concept of size as your printers come with a already like predefined size like whether it is 80 mm 50 mm 30 mm and now coming to a, the second part is printing without the temp file so the people who have worked with in the like previous lecture they may understand it in that I was using the temp file so here what I did is uh, with this along with this code I will be share there will be this raw print helper here so in that I have added one method that is send value to the printer now in the last example what we were doing was we were sending uh, file to the printer instead of here you will send the byte array itself so you don't need any file so it will automatically print I hope this lecture will help you if you have any question you can contact me through my email ID phone and your Skype as well thank you bye bye